Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gloria Kings. Thank you so much for stopping by. Do not forget to click the subscribe button before you leave. In today's video, I'm going to be answering your questions. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me questions related to living in Turkey, my experience, questions you might have, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be answering them in today's video. Okay, let's just go straight to the video. So I asked you guys to send me questions because I always get the same set of questions all the time, and I feel like I've answered them in my other questions in my other um turkey related videos but i don't know if you guys do not watch them and you just come straight to ask me questions but we move and these are the questions so i'm going to be answering them right now okay so the first question is is food cheap or should i bring some nigerian food stuff okay turkish food is very affordable i believe i be i strongly believe turkish food is very available you can see different price range of food you can see the really affordable one the really cheap one you can see the expensive ones so it depends on your budget but i believe turkish food is very affordable when you come to talk about nigerian food J just bring whatever you feel you can bring or whatever you feel you want because especially now with the corona season <laughs> one pack of maggi is 120 lira <laughs> why is one pack of maggi 120 lira we're not going to talk about that we're going to talk about the questions if you're coming from nigeria and you feel you're someone who really loves nigerian food i would suggest you bring your food stuff but if you're someone who's open to trying new types of food i would say just just come and enjoy yourself but still bring some nigerian food stuff what is the best defining feature of the country in your opinion e.g parties food 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 <laughs> I know when people see me outside they think oh I'm on a diet I'm not eating so much but guys let me tell you something do not judge a book by its cover that, that's what I'm going to tell you do not judge a book by its cover I love Turkish food I've never been to a proper Turkish party like where everybody's Turkish I've never been there I would love to but I don't have Turkish friends so <laughs> We move but anyways i love the food and i love the do i say the geography i've made a video on things i love about turkey yeah the food is very nice and also the geography of turkey i love the fact that there are so many things to do in turkey like there are so many things oh i can't imagine i cannot and the people they're actually nice places that you want to see what's the best turkish food so far <laughs> places i want to see for now i want to see pamukale and kapadot Cappadoce, Cappadoce. I don't know how to pronounce it. What's the best Turkish food so far? <laughs> Guys, I've not really tried deep, deep Turkish food, but I've tried so many, but I do not know their names. The only names I know are Borek. Is it called Borek? Yeah, it's like bread and meat inside. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to try to put a picture somewhere here to show you guys. But I like, I love borek. I used to love kebab so much. I would really love to try out Turkish food and like know what I'm eating. Because I eat a lot of Turkish food, but I don't know the names of what I'm eating. I just see the picture and I'm like, oh, I want this. And I don't ask the name. But anyways, I would love to do mukbangs on Turkish food. Would you guys love to watch that? So please, for those of you that are Turkish, please leave recommendations of food you would want me to try because that'll be i feel like that'll be very nice is it black woman friendly what do you mean do you mean like is it like do they accept black women honestly i think it is because i'm here and i'm surviving it's just that you might come across some perms sometimes but it's not as bad it's not so bad like you can survive and i've gotten a question of someone asking me if it's safe as a black woman i want to believe it is because i've been here for like two years for about two years and i've not had any security issue if that makes any sense when i used to have classes in school i would go to school and i come back like around 10 pm in the night and i walk on the road by myself without any trouble so i think i would say it is where in istanbul do you get your hair product when you say hair products what do you mean <laughs> do you mean like hair cream or do you mean like leave-in conditioners or do you mean like the extension hair which of them but anyways the extension hair there are some african hair salons that sell hair but they're expensive and for my hair products that i use on my hair i mostly use diy products honestly i don't have like a specific product like a branded product that i use for my moisturizer i use my shea butter mixture and for oils i just buy a couple of different oils and mix them together that's how i actually survive 
with my natural hair because I can't place an order from abroad into Turkey because they do not accept anything cosmetic so you gotta do what you gotta do do I need an English proficiency exam to study? Well, it depends. Are you studying your undergraduate or master's? If it's your master's, for me, I did not write any English proficiency exam. So I don't really know about the undergraduate one. But I think if you're from an English speaking country, you wouldn't have to write it because you speak English. You were taught in English. Would you advise going to Turkey for undergraduate degree? What are your other options? What other options do you have? Are they... If I knew your other options, I would maybe suggest it. But I don't think studying in Turkey is bad. I don't think it's bad at all. It's actually quite cool. When compared to Cyprus, which has a more affordable education? Honestly, I don't know how to answer that question because for the undergraduate, there are different schools in Cyprus that their school fees varies and there are different schools in Turkey where by the school fees varies. So it just depends. For me, I'm studying my master's degree, so I don't really know the price range for undergraduate studies and it depends on the school as well. So for but for my master's, I think it's more affordable to study here than Cyprus. I'm not very sure. I'm not a hundred percent. How long will you be living in Turkey? Do you want to go back home or stay in turkey honestly for right now right now i think maybe a year or two or three <laughs> time maybe within the range of three years i might be in turkey maybe where is the best place to visit as a tourist best place i personally have visited as a tourist is fetier i've gone to fetier twice the first time i went to fetier was for unisys teeth and the second time was for a holiday a proper vacation so i experienced like different things but so far, depending on the type of holiday you want, I think I like Fetier so far. I feel like Fetier or boardroom. Boardroom is the chilling. You know when you want to chill, chill. Like you just want to be there, living your best life. Boardroom. Then if you want to experience things, it's Fetier. But they are basically in the same province, I think. I don't know if it's province or city. I don't know. I don't know. Have you dated in Turkey? What do you mean? Have I dated a Turkish person or have I dated in Turkey? Like if you mean generally I've dated, but have I dated a Turkish person? No. Would you walk and start a family there? Please give me a shout out. My mom LK, she loves you. This is from Tendi.t. I don't usually show you guys name, but I'm going to show her name because she requested for a shout out. So if next time when I'm doing my Q&A and you guys want a shout out, let me know please. Would you, so tendy.t says would you work and start family there please give a shout out to my mom lk she loves you hi hi lk i don't know what lk means thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for actually watching my videos and hi tendy tendy t where is would i work and start a family there i could i don't think it's a bad idea i would and i could well currently this is my work this is why want to do and then some other side jobs oh and she's the one that actually introduced me to you and i'm grateful mom lk that is oh thank you mom lk like <laughs> thank you how did you find the house in turkey and how did you learn turkish bro my turkish is like the only Turkish I know is the one I used to fight with taxi drivers. That's the only Turkish I know. Or the one I used to place on. I just know surface Turkish. I don't feel like I know like the deep. I do not. I do not know the deep Turkish. Like I can grab, pick up words when having a conversation with people and I can reply sometimes. So it's like one one. It's like kuchu. Very as. How did I find a house in Turkey? I searched for a house using Emlak. They have like house agents. They're called MLAC or you go to their office and tell them you're looking for a house. How did I get this house? I think we went to an MLAC office and we got the house and also you can use Sahibiden. Sahibiden is a very popular app that ev almost everyone I know uses Sahibiden when they're looking for houses. So you could use that or you could just go directly to an MLAC's office. But the trick is sometimes they refuse to give to Africans. So you have to, I don't know what they do now because it's been a while I looked for a house. So yeah, that's how I found my house. Um, how much does YouTube pay for 1,000 views in Turkey for video like public questions and pranks? I don't know. I, I really do not know how to answer that question. I want to believe depending on the ads. It's not about the views you get. It's the ads and if people click on your ad. I wouldn't really know how much they pay for 1,000 views. When you start up a YouTube channel and you reach the goal to get monetized, then that's where you can start calculating how much you earn. But I don't really know like 
like a specific amount they would pay you for 1000 views i don't know if that makes sense excuse my english i am senegalese hi i really love you and i want to come there soon oh that's so nice that's really nice you should you should visit turkey or if you want to come to stay do you boo boo i would want to know how you deal with the weather is it cool in the summer turkish weather is cool especially istanbul istanbul <laughs> in antalya it's way hot it's like cyprus hot but in istanbul the summer is very good it's not too hot there are some days it gets very hot and there are some days it's just normal like it's just a normal summer so i think the weather is actually cool but it gets very cold in the winter like this it gets cold especially when it's snowing it gets very cold so you just have to you know have the right clothing and outfits for whenever you feel like going out just so it doesn't like affect you but i believe turkish weather is actually cool it's something you can live with what's the best thing about living in turkey i think for one it's actually very affordable like you can survive depending on what aspect of life you're at if you're with the money there are places you can go to and spend your money if you're trying to like survive you're just starting up life by yourself and you're trying to survive there are places you can stay and be able to cope i think just the fact that it fit every single range of people is just what i actually really like about turkey i think that's one of the best thing about turkey it's very affordable and also the people the people are actually quite friendly they can be very friendly and the food and their culture like there's there's so many things to love about turkey guys so many things <laughs> what are your future plans for turkey what do you <laughs> sorry i just felt like a president like they just asked me what are your future <laughs> i don't know I don't... my future plans for turkey is to make the best out of it as much as i can visit so many places as many places as i can that my account can take me when it's time and try the food i really want to try the food and i really wish i had a female female turkish friend <laughs> that actually just genuinely wants to be a friend like someone who can hang out with that can explain things to me and all that stuff like it's not so easy i have few friends online like some girls that have messaged me and that's so nice but i feel like they live far away and it's just it's just <laughs> but anyways yeah is there any chance you don't see dms or you don't answer on purpose okay honestly i do not check my dms all the time and i just scroll through to look for like you know the questions or like people that need help so if you're someone in my dms asking for help or needing help or need me to explain something or tell you an information don't just come and say hi because when you say hi, I'm going to classify you under the hi. But when you say hi and then you state what you want, you state your question, I would answer you. There's a higher po possibility that I would answer you. But when you just say hi, I'm just like, I can't really say hi. To <sighs> just don't say hi, okay? Just state what you want and from there we can have a conversation all right where in istanbul do you live i live in snu what is the rent range like in istanbul also is 3500 turkish lira enough to survive a month there okay okay sis sis right okay sis i made a video breaking down the bills and like everything the rent relation rent the bills electricity everything i made a video breaking it down so i'm going to link it up here so you can check it out but I think 3,500 can be okay if you're not going to be spending a lot and you're not going to buy so many things. It can pay the bills. It can pay the bills. Depending on the type of lifestyle you live, you might not be able to spend as much. But if you need more information on how the bills work, how rent work and all that stuff, I'm going to link, I linked a video or I'm going to link the video in the description box below so you can check it out. That video is very helpful. I'm very sure it will help you too, okay? what would you say average cost of living is honestly guys i really cannot answer this question because everyone's way of life is different and their cost of living can be different person a can live in like maslak and their cost of living is like and then person b can live in belituzu and my cost of living might be low is lower than maslak so it just de depends if you watch my previous video my other video on the cost of living in turkey it should explain it better how do you get permanent residency 
so far from what i know or from what i feel from what i've heard i've never searched it i've never looked into it but if you want to get a permanent residency in turkey do they even give foreigners permanent residence? That's the question. But anyways, you are, you have to invest and you have to own properties. That's what I know so far. But I'm not sure if they give the permanent residency. They might give you 10 years, a year, 5 years. It depends, but I'm not very sure. So I don't want to give out wrong information. Okay? When does winter start? Uh, around November, December-ish. November. When it gets very cold, it's November. But right now it's just you know it's just springish <laughs> i want to say springish but it's just cool i'm thinking of going to turkey for masters what do you think plus do they employ nigerians if you speak turkish and you have good connection or you have like they might employ you but i don't know about the corporate job i don't know about the corporate job but there are other works you can do where they employ nigerians so it depends on the type of job you want to get. Would you recommend living there as a young African lady? Uh, I'm doing it, so uh, there's nothing wrong here. How much is jollof rice? <laughs> so the person that asked this question... The person that asked this question... <laughs> anyways, there are different prices of jollof rice. It depends on the type of jollof rice you want, okay? Hey dear, thanks for giving us another chance to ask you questions. That's so kind of you. You're welcome sis. My name is, am I supposed to say your name out? Shirley. I am from Kenya. I really wanted to know how life can be if I choose to live and work in Turkey. My boyfriend is from there. So he was suggesting we move there since his business is a bit shaky. I really wanted to know if I'll be able to make enough money so that I can support my family back home since I am the breadwinner. Kindly help sis. Much love. So basically the question, hi sis. Hi sis. How are you doing? How's life? <laughs> okay um you are asking if you can make enough money so that you can support your family back home since you are the breadwinner i think you should be able to make money honestly it depends on the job you get and how much they are paying you you can get you can earn enough money to be able to survive here in turkey and i think you can also make money to, to send back home but i'm not sure of the amount of money you can make that's the tricky thing you can work in a place where the pay is low and you can work in a place where the pay is high so it just depends on the type of job you get which can really help you in the end so just follow your heart but i think you should be able to work and make money all right so um i think that's all of the questions for now <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have more questions please leave them in the comment section below Hopefully, I would be able to answer them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.